Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2001 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is 5 mark question came in GATE 2001. For the circuit shown, D1 and D2 are identical diodes with ideality factor of unity. The thermal voltage Vt is equal to 25 millivolts. Then calculate A. If the reverse saturation current for the diode is 1 pico ampere, then compute the current flowing through the circuit as indicated. I is given in the circuit. This current we need to calculate. Calculate next. B. Calculate Vf and Vr. This Vf and Vr also indicated on the diagram. Vf is voltage across diode 1, Vr is voltage across diode 2 with the indicated polarities. This is 5 mark question, so it doesn't have any options. We have to solve this problem. We will see how to solve this one. This is a given diagram and D1 and D2 are going to be identical diodes with ideality factor of 1. Ideality factor is nothing but eta. Eta is equal to 1, it was given and reverse saturation current is given for the diode is 1 pico ampere. Then we need to calculate current indicated on the circuit diagram as well as Vf and Vr. Assume that I1, I2 are the currents flowing through diode D1 and D2 and I01 and I02 are the reverse saturation currents of D1 and D2 respectively. So we are assuming this one. And given that one both D1 and D2 are identical diodes, so definitely they will be having the same reverse saturation current. So simply we are writing it as I0 is a reverse saturation current. We are not indicating it as I01 or I02. So I0 is nothing but equal to I01 equal to I02. And that one is nothing but equal to 1 pico ampere. And from the circuit diagram, we can say that one this is 50 millivolts is applied to both diodes. But positive terminal of 50 millivolts is connected to P side of diode 1. Whereas P side of diode 2 is connected with negative terminal. So diode 1 is forward biased, diode 2 is reverse biased. So whenever diode 1 and diode 2 are reverse, uh, diode 1 is forward biased and diode 2 is reverse biased. How the current flows? We will examine now. Diode 1 is forward biased. So under forward bias, current flows always from P to N. So this is P side. This is P side of the diode and it is N side of the diode. So current always flows from P to N and the direction as indicated I1. And voltage across that one is nothing but plus minus Vf. Since it is forward bias, it is indicated as Vf. And diode 2 is reverse bias. Under reverse bias, current always flows from negative to positive that is nothing but N to P always current flows from N to P and that is equal to reverse saturation current so this is N to P the direction is nothing but in this way and whose value is I naught to from this one if you observe current flowing through D1 and current flowing through D2 both are in the same direction but under forward bias we expect a large current under reverse bias we expect a small current but whenever they are connected in series okay in series currents must be same so that either the resultant may be I1 or may be I02 so whenever two current sources are in series always the least will be the effective one so I02 is going to be the effective current flowing through the circuit so that is the I02 which flows in D1 that is nothing but indicated current I so simply we can write I is equal to I1 is equal to I02 which is nothing but 1 pico ampere. So this is the first question. I is nothing but 1 pico ampere. Next we need to go for the calculation of Vf and Vr. We know that one diode 1 is forward biased and current flowing through this one is nothing but I1. Use the diode current equation. I1 is equal to I01 into e power Vf by Vt. Eta is equal to 1 given minus 1. So I1 is nothing but reverse saturation current which is equal to I0 2 so we are writing I0 I0 1 is also equal to I0 2 because both are identical diodes into e power Vf by Vt minus 1 I0 I0 get cancels 1 is equal to e power Vf by Vt minus 1 if you simplify 
e power vf by vt is 2 volts from that one we can write like this vf is equal to vt natural logarithm of 2 vt is 26 millivolts whereas natural logarithm of 2 if you calculate vf will be around 0 0.018 volts so forward bias voltage is going to be known that is 0 0.018 volts and total voltage applied is 50 millivolts this 50 millivolts has to drop across diode 1 and diode 2 there are no other elements already we know the voltage across diode 1 so by simple KVL we can calculate the voltage across reverse bias diode so apply KVL plus 50 minus V1 minus V2 is equal to 0 V1 is nothing but VF V2 is nothing but VR so V2 is equal to 50 minus V1 50 minus 0 0.018 so V2 is equal to 49.982 millivolts which is approximately equal to 50 millivolts only ideally diode under reverse bias act as open circuit so no current flows through the diode so entire applied input voltage is going to appear across that reverse bias diode so practically even though a small current flows maximum input voltage is going to be appearing across reverse bias diode only so this is what the answers I is equal to 1 pico ampere VF is 0 0.018 volts VR is 49.982 millivolts thank you